Hey everybody, it's Chad from The Right Line. We're working on the toolbox again today. Now that you've been seeing me farting around with this toolbox here for a little while, let me show you how far I got. What I started with here is a Group 24 Duralast Platinum AGM battery. This is a glass mat battery, which means no sulfuric acid fumes from a battery. Ground right here, sharing ground with the power inverter right there to the chassis of the toolbox. And then the 12 volt power going up into the master kill switch with a, with a lead going over to the power inverter and then down to the fuse panel, down to my switch panel. And you can see the voltmeter gauge here. This is my accessory uh, 12 volt power switch. This is going to be for the LED work lights that are going to sit from below the rooftop tent. That's the USB charger. There's two of them, and then that's just another 12 volt one here. All right, let's turn this sucker on. Okay, we are powered up. Oh, is that hard to see in the sun? 12.6 volts. Now, how am I going to charge that battery, you may ask? You're not gonna take a 12 volt plug-in battery charger out camping. You're right, I'm not. I'm taking this Goal Zero 100 watt solar panel with me. There's the charge controller right there. And I put a hole in the back of the toolbox so I could run the wire from the solar panel into the charge controller. Now my baseline voltage in this battery is 12.6 volts. Let's see what the solar panel does. All right, I get a slow green blinking light over there power, which means that the solar panel is charging the battery. 12.8 volts. This is gonna be great to charge cell phones, RC trucks, video cameras, you name it. Now, I wanted to make that charge controller more temporary mount inside the toolbox because if I'm off camping and I don't have the trailer with me, I may still wanna take the charger the charge controller and the solar panel to charge the Jeep's battery. So, multiple applications here. Now, in just the brief few minutes that I've been sitting here with this connected, I'm already up to 13 volts connected to the solar panel. So I'm sure this is gonna do the job. I hope you like what you see. I hope you found it inspiring and entertaining and useful to you. If you're finding me for the first time, please consider a like, a share, a comment. I read every comment, or even a subscription. Thank you very much for watching. 
I'll see you again next time.